decided to get the general out this morning for a little cruise. It's about 38 degrees out. We got the heat on in CVGL number six. Of course, if you all remember, we don't have any windows. It's not bad in here with a jacket on. We're gonna head up to a couple of our neighbors and, and uh, get some video on maybe some of their old vehicles and some of their trinkets for you all to look at. Something a little different. So we'll catch you back in a bit. up here at our neighbor's garage this morning he's got a few old collectible cars and uh, a lot of a lot of collectible trinkets i don't know if i'll be able to get it all or not but we'll get you all some to look at he's got everything fixed up nice up here in his little shop got a clean little mustang here i think it's a 66 Got a 52 Chevrolet pickup truck here. Nice truck. Got the bed rails. He's got some got some clean vehicles. If you all are into that kind of stuff. All of them was nice when he bought them. He's had a little bit done to them. He's done a little bit. My dad's done a little bit to them for him. Just to kindly make them his own, I guess you could say. And all kinds of neat stuff in here. There's a 69 Volkswagen. You all remember the old cartoon. That's what it reminds me of. Old super bug. Speed buggy. Speed buggy is what his name was. If you remember the old speed buggy cartoon. It's got a 51 Chevy pickup right here. Real nice clean truck. It's got tinted windows. Leather interior in it. Real nice. Now he's got a 73 Challenger over here. This is one of my favorites. Big block car. And it does run good. And I don't know if you've uh, really noticed through the video, I've been going through pretty quick, but he kind of has his pictures and signs posted and organized by what vehicle is parked in front of him. So that, that's pretty cool. Here's a ton of little die cast collectibles. He's got diorama set up. Got some of his car show trophies. Tries to go to a few car shows every summer. I don't know if I can get all of his cars or not. He's got them sitting in here pretty good. Uh-oh, I see one I really like. I mean, he's got models, die cast, 
164, 118, 124. And, and he does have a security system in here. So don't anybody get the wrong idea. It's set up right here. Here's his security system set up. It don't get much better than that right there, boys. May just be one bullet in the gun, but that's all it takes. Around the uh, corner trim of his building, if you can see them, he's got gas pump emblems, license plates, uh, vehicle emblems. And he has these fastened up here about every foot to two foot apart all the way around this building. So that's, that's pretty cool. A lot of stuff to look at in here. It is heated and cool, so it's comfortable to come in here and hang out, clean on a vehicle, whatever he takes an ocean to do. You got it fixed up nice. And we'll go down here to his other other room. I think he's got a couple more vehicles down there. We'll check them out. On Stacy's Country Cooking and Adventures. He's got some tins and signs on the outside of his building. He's got these two old truck signs here that dad repainted to match the trucks that he's actually got inside there. Pretty neat. He's got her fixed up. All right, when his other little shed he's got down here and he's got it fixed up nice too. All kinds of trinkets. There sits a truck grill hanging up. Looks good. Die cast cars everywhere. Signs. Uh-oh, I see another General Lee. This one happens to be a custom here. Dad built that one for him. Got all kinds of stuff up, up high, down low, signs hanging up. And right here we have a 66 fire lane convertible. And if I remember correctly, this has a Mustang GT drivetrain in it. Five-speed transmission, 302 high output. Nice running little car. Got some nice tins and signs hanging up. Just a lot of stuff to look at. Fun little hobby, collectibles. Just gives you something to look at when you come in. Look at the real deal, look at all kinds of collectibles. All right, now we're out here in Dad's garage. He's got some trinkets and some diorama stuff. Got a lot of stuff hanging up to look at, and he makes a lot of custom stuff. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this clock on the wall there, that's a custom clock, has a picture of my uh, CVGL jumping inside of it. Here's his 66 Super Sport Chevelle, big block car, four speed. There's even a kid back there. I guess he's crying because he ain't out burning the tars off. Got the hood opened up a little bit. We'll see if we can get a little shot in there. He's got calendars with his old cars and 
different car shows we go to, cruise-ins. Got a lot of die-cast stuff, trophies. There's even a parking meter. I wonder if these times done expired. We're gonna have to do something here. He started messing with all the die cast stuff. He's been building several of the custom General Lee cars because you can't can't hardly buy them anymore. You can buy them used, but you can't can't find them new. So you can buy everything to customize them. He's got several of those. There's another clock with my car in it that he's made. There's no custom general right there. Got a couple older bicycles here, chopper bike. Here's his car show ride, his cricket. There's no Schwinn. Here's the monkey. He's got an 85 GMC four wheel drive here. He's got a 454 in it, four speed. Here's where he's been working on some of his cars. But he's got pictures, trinkets, different things hanging up around to look at. Got it fixed up nice in him, in here. We'll go out of here and go over here to the other garage. We'll get a little, little video of his orange truck. All right, we're out here in Dad's workshop. This is his 54 Chevrolet pickup. Some of you have requested that you'd like to see a little bit of video on this truck. So we're gonna get you a little bit here. It's a pretty nice old truck. Dad, he drives it around quite a bit. Got a newer 350 in it. Well, I say newer, it's not new, but I mean, it's a whole lot newer than the truck anyway. Of course, you, they didn't make a 350 back in 1954. Had a dirt dauber nest in it. Who knows how old it is? He just left it and clear coated it. He's done quite a bit to this thing, put the new step boards on it. He reworked the bed just like he done our neighbors that you saw in this video. He does a lot of, he does a lot of work and tinkering around and fixing stuff up. Just making, making, like I said before, making everything your own. That's what it's all about. Just as long as you like it. This is where he makes his windmills and tank men and all kinds of little hobbies. Dad's got him a zero one windmill out here flying. Here's his sign he fixed up on the front of his uh, shop building. He's got a windmill up on top. Got a windmill over here in the yard. There sets the general. What's it doing here? Got a red light on his garage and his porch lights are actually old truck headlights. If you can see that there. And he's got an old truck that he fixed and repainted to match his. Done a great job on them, just like the neighbors that I showed you. His red light does work when he wants to turn it on and his, his headlights work. Got a lot of nice, cool things here and a lot of nice trinkets. Something to mess with and look at.